guys, look at this breakfast sponsored by Jen and Dan. <laughs> Ta-da! Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh my gosh, and look how cute that Christmas one is. Twas the night before Christmas. Actually, it's the two nights before Christmas, so it's Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> Meaning it's the 23rd. How cute is that? At least I was nice. There you go. Okay guys, it's that time of the year. We are baking cookies. This is from the dough that I made the other day. I kept it in the fridge for I think like two days now because I sort of wanted to bake it off closer to Christmas, I decided. And this is sort of like a twist between a classic German cookie and a classic Italian cookie. I kind of made it up a little bit and based it off of a few recipes and the German cookie is called Zimstern. I will try to write it because I know I'm mispronouncing it. They're really nice and they smell so fragrant. They smell just like Christmas so I can't wait to bake these and give them a try. So the first batch just came out of the oven. I'm about to put the next batch in and these cookies remind me of if a gingerbread cookie and an amaretto cookie had a baby. <laughs> because it's sort of a mix between amaretti and gingerbread, so they're hopefully going to be really delicious and really cute because those are two of my favorite cookies. Ta-da! They're finished. Look how cute they look with their little glaze on them. So these are little snowflakes. And what are you doing? I gave Luna a little treat and she's chewing it literally with her back towards everyone by her little Christmas tree. She's feeling very festive and very possessive of this big treat. Let's see if I pet her. You okay? I don't want to take it from you. I don't want to take it from you. Look at the lip she's giving me. I don't want to take it from you. I love you. You're my angel. I love you. Oh, you're an angel. <laughs> So I'm starting to make cheesecake. This is the graham cracker crust. I always put a little bit of slivered almonds in it because it makes it taste that much better. And as you can see, it's very reinforced. I didn't really need this aluminum foil because I wasn't sure if I could find this, but I did. So this is going to stay like this and it's going to be cooked in a water bath. So the water is going here because if you put the water in here, it actually seeps through. This is really my only trick. So water will be in there so it will still be cooked in like a steamy environment, which is always better for the cheese. Cake. Time to go for a walk and celebrate your Christmas break! Woohoo! The start of it. Woohoo! We're going for a nice winter walk before the rest of the baking commences. <laughs> you can't see me, but I'm smiling. <laughs> you can see it by the eyes. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm about to put my cheesecake in the oven. I was just whipping it up for the last little bit and I kind of forgot to film. <laughs> it doesn't look very exciting right now, but this is my little trick to still do a water bath and yet not have the water go into the cheesecake because like I said, they don't make these properly. So I'll be pouring some water in here, hot water, and then baking it in the oven. So hopefully you'll see this when it's done. I'm sure tomorrow I'll have better lighting, so. And Jules just made all of these shortbread cookies, regular and chocolate. They look so delicious. And she made her oatmeal cookies, her classic oatmeal cookies. She makes them every year, at least a variation of this recipe, so it looks really good. My cookies are just over there. So yeah, just a lot of Christmas baking going on. Just whipping some egg whites, doing it with this little handheld electric whisk because as you guys hopefully already know from watching my vlogs but the KitchenAid is broken! So I've been doing this by hand and honestly guys if you're thinking about investing in a KitchenAid and you're just not sure if you love to bake get a KitchenAid it's the best kitchen tool ever but yeah I'm going to be making coconut macaroons not macaron not the French ones but macaroons oddly enough I've posted a recipe for macarons but not macaroons so yeah I'm making these and I should actually probably film this recipe because they're really delicious my cheesecake is about five minutes from being done and she looks pretty I hope she doesn't sink when the baby Baking time is over but she looks gorgeous a beautiful little puffy girl and that's pretty much how I'm gonna be feeling tomorrow after I eat her so there you go <laughs> okay guys this is the cheesecake out of the oven oh my gosh it feels so nice not one little crack hopefully it comes out really nicely and as you can see because there was no water in here you don't have to worry about water seeping into your actual cheesecake so this is a really good hack I truly don't know why I've never filmed this cheesecake recipe before because it's honestly pretty easy. You can clearly do it without a KitchenAid and <laughs> look, not even one crack, guys. That always makes me so happy when I see a couple steps that it takes, but it's worth it. So this cheesecake is looking mighty fine. And now I have 
all of the coconut macaroons and I'm ready to put them into the oven to bake. I've also never filmed this recipe, another super easy recipe that I have of mine. I just have so many recipes, guys, so please let me know things that you do want to see from me because I have a lot of recipes, just tons and tons and tons. I've been baking since I was a little kid and I love it. So this is what they look like, just scooped out right before it's the- under the Christmas tree. Merry Christmas Eve, everyone. Jules and I are just setting up the table for Christmas Eve dinner. It's still early right now, but we just wanted to get the table settings over with so that we can actually get ourselves ready. Look how festive and cute it looks right now. These are all of our cookies so far. We're sort of making cookie trays and boxes. These are my coconut macaroons that I drizzled with chocolate and dipped in white chocolate and milk chocolate. They look so good, so those are gonna go in when the chocolate sets. We're just so busy cleaning and preparing. Cheers! Thank you, babe. Nikita's so sweet. He got all of us ladies a Starbucks coffee today as he was running errands. That's so nice of him. And I'm having the gingerbread one, and honestly, it's delicious. Might be one of my favorites, so. I was doing a time lapse, but I forgot to do a time lapse of this part. I just drizzled it with white chocolate and put a few cookies in the middle and then did a little dusting of icing sugar. Doesn't that look like a festive little cheesecake? It looks really delicious, so I can't wait to try it. Merry Christmas Eve, Luna! It's our third Christmas together, little lady. You're so sweet. <laughs> she's excited for Christmas, yeah. She's gonna have lots of table scraps tonight because it's Christmas after all, so lots of fishies for my little babe. <laughs> Merry Christmas, I'm ready. I have my makeup on and I'm all dressed up and now I'm gonna go prep a little bit of the hors d'oeuvres and things like that. A lot of things are already taken care of, so hopefully it will be nice and calm and since we're going to just be my family, my immediate family, so my sisters, our boyfriends, and my mom and her boyfriend, whenever things are ready we're just calling them down, we're staying in our little bubble. It would have been really nice to see my dad. Even today, even though we've always just done Christmas Eve with my mom and her family, and we've always done Christmas Day with my dad and his family, it would have been nice if my dad could have come tonight too. And even though my parents are divorced, they still get along like great friends, so they would have actually, <laughs> he would have had a good time over our house. Luna's barking at me, I pick you up! He would have had a lovely time at our house, but because of COVID and because he's high risk, we just want to be extra careful, so it's not worth the risk, but we'll probably go visit him tomorrow, even just with masks on to drop off gifts and things like that. But yeah, so we are hosting this year and we are very extra. I will show you a little bit of what we did and we decided to all get dressed up even though we're at home and just to celebrate Christmas and to have a good time just with amongst our closest family members. So. I'll show you guys what we've been doing so far, other than baking, because I showed you a lot of that already. <laughs> oh, Luna's playing with her toy, look. Oh, she got a toy. She got a toy. She got a toy. Good girl. So here is the little entrance when you walk in and we have our menu written down. This is what me and my mom and sisters were working on. The Sugar Plum Fairies present an Enchanted Christmas Eve menu. We have a Frosty's Finger Foods, Very Merry Mains, The Nutcracker Sweets, and Hallmark Holiday Bar. And every little thing that we're having has a funny name. So it's Candy Cane Lane Caprese, The Mouse King baked brie, Santa's chimney smoked salmon, Swan Lake shrimp ring, and Uncle Drossemeyer's oysters. And then we have Grinch the Meanie Fishy Linguini. That was my con contribution. <laughs> Santa Claus crab legs, Rudolph Serapini, Scrooge's scallop potatoes. How cute is that? So I think we were really festive in that sense and I'll show you the rest of the house. Table centerpiece that I've showed you guys already a couple times. So there it is, looks really nice. And then here we have we still have to put a few more things up. There's um, alcohol chilling in the fridge, but we have the Hallmark Holiday Bar. Those are all of our Bitmojis. How funny are we? We're such little nerds, but it's so cute. Get into the Christmas spirits. Oh, that's probably Jen knocking on the door. And then here we have a Frosty's Finger Foods. And we're gonna put all of the finger foods and apps on this table, so there you go, guys. It's cozy by the fire. We have some Christmas music playing, but I had to pause it for now. And yeah. Candy cane caprese. Hang on, oh, it's so cute how you did it with like the little holly. Yeah. So Jen just brought the candy cane caprese. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Isn't it? Love it. Me too. 
My mom is making the fish sauce for the pasta. There's a lot of good things in here, like scallops and shrimp and I think calamari. Delicious. Mm. Jules and I. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. On point, we're both wearing red lips yes. and reddish colors. I'm literally all in red. Today. Love it, you look so cute. I love your outfit. All decked out, we decided to dress up this year. So we're just going with it. <laughs> yeah, we decided to dress up and be really extra this year. Even though we're at home with just our few close loved ones in our bubble, we said, let's let's just be really festive yeah. and let's go all out. So even though we're at home, we're in dresses. Why not? Woo! Love Merry you guys. Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I was about to show you guys the apps, but then I saw little Luna in the corner by herself. You are amazing! Merry Christmas! I love you so much. I love you so much. You're getting some fresh air because the door's open. Yeah, some fresh air for Luna. Yes, we're gonna open all the windows and get some fresh air in here. Merry Christmas! Do you want to say Merry Christmas in Russian? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Are you gonna say a long message? No, no. Merry Christmas, Bon Natale! Bon Natale! So I made my famous smoked salmon and cream cheese with crackers. We have some oysters on crackers. And we have the shrimp ring with a little cocktail sauce, some peppers, and the cutest thing is this candy cane caprese that Jen made. It's so adorable, I love it. And we still have some warm apps coming out, but they're in the oven, so here are all the cold apps for now. Just filming it before. They're gone. <laughs> and we have Jen and Dan over here. Hello, guys. Our first Christmas together. Oh, it's your first Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Anik and Chuck. I wonder what you guys are doing, huh? What? <laughs> what are you guys getting up to? A holiday cheers. Alex busy pouring cocktails for the nice ladies. And he's getting ready to go outside because he has a little scarf on, right? <laughs> and Jules made a baked brie in this little Christmas dish. How cute is that? Holiday baked brie. Yummy. Uh, coconut shrimp. Ooh, more of the like Oscars. I made shrimp. a yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Woo! Cheers. Woo! Cheers. Aww. Happy Christmas Eve, everybody. Cheers. So we're just starting our appetizers, guys. And who am I beside? And Mrs. Kenny Cakes herself. She did a lot of hard work tonight, so. Right there. Hello, mother. Hello, everybody. And what do you have to say? I wish everybody a very blessed so Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. And hopefully a healthy and happy new year. Yes, definitely. Stay safe. COVID free. I wish. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas Eve. From the ladies. From the Sugar Plum Fairies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been a very different Christmas Eve for us because usually yeah. we're with a lot more family members, but we're making the most of it, guys. We we're are. making do. I was saying Christmas is a frame of mind, and I feel like even though this year we've been in COVID, I still feel like I've had such a great Christmas and a great holiday season. Yeah, we, we were very we've festive. Done we tried to be extra festive, yeah. yeah. We really did, and I feel like it's been a great Christmas for us because we just made the most of it. I Absolutely. think this is our most festive Christmas yeah. like, season. Maybe, we really yeah. did so I think much. So too. I just feel like, you know, all together we did a lot of festive things. We tried to really get into the spirit. And, and Christmas is for being with your family and your loved ones. Definitely, yes. for even though, sure. Even though I know we can't be with all of our that's family. That's why we're with our immediate family. Aww. Our immediate family. Yes. We miss our extended. We do miss our extended family. Yes. Yeah, I know it's not the same, Merry but Christmas, it's not the guys. same. But at least we're with our immediate family. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas. Love you guys. Lots of love. We got little Luna with us. Fur baby, fur baby with mom and dad. Aww. Merry Christmas. Getting some crab legs. My new Christmas oh my crab legs. <laughs> Yummy. Merry Christmas! Merry 
Christmas to all <laughs> and to all a good cheer. <laughs> oh, you're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. <laughs> Akina won the lottery with you. You won the lottery, you babe. Won the lottery. I did. I know. <laughs> My mom made a delicious pandoro tiramisu. All of our cookies that you saw me and Jules making. Some berries and whipped cream and the cheesecake. I can't wait to try it. It looks oh beautiful. Right? And guys, it was a white Christmas after all because it snowed. <laughs> Look how cute. Merry Christmas! Time to open presents. Woohoo! Those cookies are so good. Oh. Three! <laughs> I saw the toys for you! Oh, look at her! She's freaking out! She's freaking out! Merry Christmas! Oh my god, I love it! She's so happy! Oh, look how happy she is! She got the star! That's her favorite! The big star! Because you are a little movie star! Because you are a little movie star! Oh, Luna, good morning, Merry Christmas! Guys, some things that Jen and Jules got me. This is what Jules got me. Ciao, Bella, this beautiful sweater that she custom made with the Roman cityscape. I love that. And this mug. And Jen got me these boots, these rain boots, scarf, and things. How cute is this? I love it. Everything you guys got me match. I could wear everything together. Tita, guys. This is like my birthday and Christmas gift in one because it's so extravagant. I love Love this so much and he asked me when did i want this and i said for christmas i love opening something on christmas oh my gosh how beautiful and he got me 23 and me finally so now i can i'll probably even film a video like what am i i'm so excited to know Yay. thank you i love <laughs> you <laughs> look how cute oh my gosh the little tree i love it pull for a note it's a christmas miracle it's snowed Okay guys, so that marks our Christmas Eve and in case I forget to say goodbye, I don't know if I'm going to be filming on Christmas Day or when this is going out, but I hope whenever you see this that you have had a Merry Christmas and I hope you guys have a Happy New Year ahead. Thank you so much for being a part of my Vlogmas. This was the first year that I did Vlogmas and of course I did it in a pandemic. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. As you guys have seen my family and loved ones all throughout Vlogmas, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I really enjoyed sort of feeling like we're part of a family or friend group now because I feel like I got to know a few of you guys a little bit better myself. To everyone who comments and likes these videos, I really appreciate it. All of my subscribers, you guys mean so much to me. So I just want to say again, thank you so much for participating with me in Vlogmas. This was a lot of fun. I don't know how much I'm going to be filming tomorrow for Christmas Day or if I'm filming at all. So just in case I don't get to end this properly, I just wanted to say good night. Thank you for watching and Merry Christmas, guys! This marks the end of Vlogmas 2020. It's been so nice. But as you can see, we ate a ton of food today and I'm going to get into my pajamas and unwind. Good night, guys. Merry Christmas!